What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you five trippy music video effects from my latest music video. Today the autofocus isn't working. Why? Can you please focus on me? Okay. So let's jump right in. These are the five effects that I'm going to show you today. First we have a negative red flicker effect. Then we have a luma key fade RGB split transition. I guess is what I'm gonna call it for now because I don't have a better name. Then we have the several arms effect, then we have a breaking glass effect and a mirror effect. I thought I'd show you the effects up front so that you know if you're interested in watching them or not so that you don't waste your time. You're welcome. Anyways, if you wanna learn how to do them or get some general inspiration for your next music video or video in general, Let's jump right into the first effect, which is the negative red flicker effect. Well, this one is very easy, at least I think, but also very effective and can really add much to your video, especially on parts where it still feels a bit slow or maybe not boring, but kind of uninteresting where you could, you know, use some final touches. You could use this. First, we take an adjustment layer and shorten it to about four frames. Then we look for a negative in the effects tab, put that onto the adjustment layer, and then we type in also in the effects tab, tint. Now I used a red color for my video because it was kind of this dark tone, but you could of course use any color that you want and that maybe fits your video. Then to finish the look itself off, you can use the color board to make some final adjustments. I found myself very often giving these shots more contrast by darkening the shadows a lot, oftentimes even 100%, and then you have something like this. Now you could leave it like this, use it on hits and the beat, or maybe as a transition in between clips. For example, you could also scale up the clip a bit or down, or even play with some blending modes. Here I used add, also looks pretty cool, or even distort the whole image. Again, this is not like a step-by-step -step tutorial but more like to give you some inspiration of what you can do but if you have some questions feel free to ask them down below or hit me up on Instagram or wherever you like. Little bonus tip, I used this effect to sneak in some stock footage of a snake in the video. The clip by itself would have been pretty random. I mean, it fit the lyrics, but it would obviously not fit the rest of the visuals. But by tinting it red, like we find it in other parts of the scenes, it fit in perfectly. So this next effect, which is actually more like a transition, is really complex, so pay some extra attention. In this effect, we're using a luma key on a clip with a dark background. Then we key out the dark parts of the image as we transition into the next clip. While we're doing that, we also have either the prism effect on the clip or use an RGB split transition which divides the color of the clip while we transition to the next clip. To blend the luma keyed RGB split clip and make it not so rough, we also keyframe a Gaussian blur to come in during the transition to make everything kind of blurry. And to top it off and make the clip beneath come in smoothly, this one starts with a normal cross dissolve while the original clip is under it again, but this one is with no effects. I know this one was a little bit confusing, to be honest, I also don't really know exactly what I did there anymore, but again it's just to show you what you can do if you combine several effects and execute your creativity. Next up on the list we have the several arms effect. Of course that one doesn't just work if you put your arms up like that, it can also work with other movements or other stuff in general. First up you duplicate the clip, shorten it and move it forward about 5 frames and set the blending mode to add. Then duplicate it again and move it forward 5 frames again. Now you will find that the footage will be too bright because of the add blending modes, so we go into our color boards and darken the highlights and mids of the clip lying above. And there we have it, several arms. Next one's pretty easy, often your musicians will punch or kick in the camera to show how aggressive and dangerous they are, so why not add a glass shattering effect to make it seem like the camera glass is breaking. You know? I provided a link down below where you can download this awesome, very beautifully shot shot of a breaking glass. I got it from Cinepex, not sponsored, but they got some awesome stuff and tons of it's free. So feel free to take a look down below in the description. And the last one's pretty easy. Just go to your effects tab and look for mirror and then basically get creative with it. Maybe split your screen in the middle or combine several and create something like this. This one's really just one to try out for different scenes. Maybe mirror it on the horizontal line or on the vertical line or even on, on like, you know, a diagonal line. Everything can look great or not, just try it out and that's it for this video. Those were five trippy music video effects. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking tutorials and videos just like this video. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're also gonna enjoy five awesome music video effects right here, which I did three months, no, three weeks back. Just click on it if you're interested. And here you can find another video and here you can actually subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in the next video or in the past one. Goodbye.